I'm Dave Erb from Dave's Ultimate Automotive, and we'll be talking about how to interpret tire wear. Uh, when looking at a tire, there are several kind of wears you'll come across. Some of them are alignment wear, and this is going to be where the uh, inside or the outside of the tire is going to be shaved down or worn much more so than the rest of the tire. That's going to be an alignment issue. Uh, other things you'll come across is if you see wear uh, on both outer edges and the, uh, and the middle looks good, that's going to be an underinflated tire uh, because the in inside will dip down and it'll ride on the outer edges. An overinflated tire will wear in the center because the overinflation is pushing the center out, so you'll have good tread on the outside and you'll see much more wear, wear in the center of the tire. Uh, the, uh, the other most common uh, problem or, or tire wear indicator is what they call cupping or scalloping. And what that is, it looks like the tread of the tire is almost like a mountain range. It'll have a, a lot of, of up and down and uneven treads from one tread to the next. And that's usually caused by either a balance issue, lack of balance, out of balance, or it'll be caused by a worn part, bad shocks, uh, worn out uh, uh, suspension parts. You usually see scalloping or cupping problems on the front, although they can happen on the back. And once again, that indicates either a balance issue, shocks, or worn parts. Uh, so just by looking at a tire and seeing how it's wearing, you can tell whether it's an inflation issue, an alignment issue, or a parts wear issue. Um, so uh, that's how you interpret tire wear.